who can tell me where I came from? The little boy would ask. His question was a good one, yet he faced the trying task. Each man had different answers, as he was soon to learn. This brought him great confusion, and it caused a deep concern. He first went to his schoolmates, and they spoke with one another. Then the smartest little toddler said, You came from your mother. Now this had satisfied him, yet only for a time. For as he grew in years of age, his thoughts began to climb. He then looked all around him, at all that he could see, and his mind began to wonder how it all had come to be. He thought about the cosmos, the infinitude of space, and every star and planet that exists in every place. He thought about the rounded earth spinning in rotation, and all four seasons that occur in yearly circulation. He thought about the darkness, and he thought about the light. He thought about the sun and moon that helped the day and night. He thought of all the creatures on the land and sea and skies, of all the different species and their variance in size. He thought of all the plants and trees, and all that each provides, each growing from a tiny seed, with roots the soil hides. He then looked at humanity, with all the different faces, different tongues and characters, and all the different races. He thought of moral bodies, with features so profound, all the senses, taste and touch, and smell and sight and sound. He thought of reproduction, and the miracle of birth. He thought of human life itself, and all that it is worth. He then considered human will, weak and also strong. He thought about the conscience that discerns from right and wrong. He thought about emotions and the feelings that arise. He thought about the love and hate and tears that flow from eyes. He thought about the anger and the joy that does abound. He thought about the happiness and sadness that is found. And filled with curiosity, this boy would daily strive in hopeful expectation that his answer would arrive. He spoke with scientific men who claimed his question solved. They told him of a real big bang and that all things evolved. He then spoke with philosophers and many did insist that there is no reality and nothing does exist. He spoke with many people from various groups and sects and heard the vast opinions of various intellects. Now baffled by confusion, a very troubled youth, unable to discern what is error, what is truth. He almost gave up looking, but he took a second look, and very unexpectedly, he found a special book. As he opened up the first page, the mystery came undone. His questions all were answered in Genesis chapter 1. With a nod of understanding, he smiled so elated. For now he surely knew, in the beginning, God created.